original tech bull, he now oversees the equity investment functions of the India products under the Franklin brand and follows Asia X Japan as a portfolio manager. Our alpha manager today is Sukumar Raja, managing director and chief investment officer, Asian equity at Templeton Asset Management. Uh, Sukumar, thanks so much for joining you. Indian markets, where they stand today, uh, you, you've been bullish, you've been uh, going in for long picks. At current valuations, what's the risk reward ratio? People are talking about a seven, eight year bull run from here today, but can we see the kind of return that we've got in the last 11 months uh, in, in, the, in, in the next years? So basically, the, the prospects of returns will depend on you know, the earnings expansion for Indian companies. Uh, currently, the margins of Indian companies are uh, quite low compared to historical levels and their potential. Uh, so, uh, as long as the margins expand and earnings growth can be very healthy uh, and uh, the market uh, 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 or the stocks can continue to perform. Uh, so, a uh, lot, lot of performance will depend on the ability of the companies to uh, live up to these expectations. Sukumar, therefore, what is your expectation of earnings? I think this is, uh, you know, very crucial to where valuations are right now. The next leg of this bull run uh, is, is all benchmarked or underpinned by where or how quickly will we see earnings pick up from here on? What's your assessment of when we'll see that happen? So, over the last 20 years, uh, the revenue growth and earnings growth for Indian companies has been in excess of 15%. Uh, which has been higher compared to the nominal uh, GDP uh, growth rate uh, for this period. Uh, so the companies in the long term, uh, they tend to grow um, in emerging economies, uh, they can grow faster compared to the nominal GDP growth. And uh, when you are looking at, uh, uh, you know, the shorter periods of time, uh, then the margin has a bigger uh, impact on the earnings growth uh, compared to, you know, the fluctuations in the revenue growth. Uh, so, under normal circumstances, I would expect that uh, the revenue growth for Indian companies over the next uh, five years would be, uh, I think, uh, at least 12 percent, probably in excess of uh, 15 percent. Uh, and uh, with margin expansion, there's a potential that the earnings growth will be higher compared to the revenue growth during this period. So, you wouldn't say then that the market has run ahead of itself at this point in time, given that you are now talking about a five-year period in terms of the kind of earnings growth or revenue improvement that, you know, you hope to see to support these markets here on? Uh, yes. Uh, so, my view is that uh, the market is still very attractive for long-term investors. All right. Uh, when you say very attractive for long-term investors, we of course want to talk to you about specific sectors and stocks that look most appealing to you. Uh, now I understand most fund managers are hesitant to talk about specifics. So let me start with an open-ended question on what looks most appealing to you at this point in time, both based on current valuations uh, and on future you know, fundamental performance. So we, we uh, you know, don't, uh, you know, the, uh, look at uh, stocks uh, from a very short-term point of view. Sure. Uh, so we really look at the quality of the businesses and we like to invest in companies with uh, very good uh, long-term uh, potential of generating good return on capital for the uh, shareholders. So our portfolio doesn't change very dramatically from quarter to quarter or even year to year. Our portfolio turnover uh, for some of the a large strategy that we run, uh, you know, tend to be much lower than 50 percent and uh, some years it might be even lower than uh, 20 percent. Uh, so uh, currently if you look at our uh, positioning, uh, you know, we are uh, overweight uh, uh, some of the, fin uh, the, the financials, mm -hmm. uh, industrials and uh, consumer uh, discretionary and uh, we are underweight uh, uh, consumer staples, we are underweight information technology. So I should warn you, though, that, you know, we don't take an active top-down view. So this, the uh, sector overweights and underweights are a function of, uh, you know, stock-specific calls that uh, we make. So we see a lot of uh, good uh, ideas in the uh, financial sector. That's why we are overweight financial. It's not that, uh, you know, we are you know, overweight financials because, you know, we are taking a very active top-down call saying that, you know, the interest rate will go down and so uh, all the financial will do well over the next one year. So we really find value uh, uh, within the financial space and we find good long-term ideas and that's why 
uh, we are overweight there. Uh, you, you, you were originally extremely bullish on tech. I'm talking about uh, almost a decade and more ago. You say you're not so bullish today. What, what's the reason? Is it valuation or is it something else? So, you know, we, we, we have a sense of value for every company based on uh, their, uh, you know, our view of uh, their long-term growth, uh, where the margins are going to go, uh, where the free care cash flows are going to go and so on. Uh, and uh, so when we see a big upside uh, uh, to the intrinsic value from the current price, then, you know, generally, uh, you know, we have higher exposure to those type of companies. And uh, within the uh, IT space, uh, you know, we still have a fairly good, uh, you know, absolute uh, exposure, but uh, compared to the benchmark, uh, we, you know, we have lesser exposure because we find better ideas in other sectors with uh, better risk adjusted return potential. Mm -hmm. Same question on pharma. Uh, pharma is seven percent of a portfolio, and I know you earlier said, for instance, that Sun is not not a co-holding even in your pharma portfolio. Does the outperformance performance of Sun surprise you? Can it sustain? Um, uh, the Sun is a very good uh, company. It's been extremely well managed. They have delivered very good uh, return on capital over a period of time. Uh, so I can't sp t tell you specifically what uh, you know our uh, current investment uh, view on uh, Sun is because you know that's uh, generally not w what we do because you know we might be trading in a particular stock and sure. uh, you know we don't want to speak about. Uh, you know, what we currently think about the company. But uh, I think uh, it's a good company and it has a very good, uh, you know, chance of delivering, uh, you know, good uh, value to the shareholders over the long term. Uh, Sukumar, you spoke of industrials being one of the sectors that you are currently overweight in along with financials. Uh, you know, I, I'm curious to try and understand uh, what your outlook is in terms of when you expect uh, earnings improvement or fundamental improvement to kick in uh, over a period of time because the last two or three months have not been very kind to many industrial stocks uh, and there is a sense of underlying disappointment that maybe the economic recovery will take a lot lo longer uh, you know, to sort of help revive some of these stock prices or move them higher to the next level? There are two issues here. Uh, you know, one is uh, to do with uh, economic uh, recovery, you know, the expectations to do with the economic recovery. And the second is, you know, uh, uh, you know, the quality of the stocks that uh, some of the investors have been betting on. Uh, and uh, so we have to separate out, uh, you know, these two issues. For high quality companies, I don't think there's been a huge uh, disappointment. Uh, 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 but for a poorer quality company, which uh, you know had a big run during the previous bull market, and people were expecting a repeat of that, and uh, uh, when they didn't see that happen, either you know the ability of the stock price to sustain or the company to you know deliver uh, something in terms of news flow or order flow or financials, so there, there might be a higher disappointment. Uh, and uh, uh, so our view is that uh, this is, you know the ca capex cycle is a long cycle. You know it doesn't change uh, uh, in one quarter. I think it's going to be a long drawn uh, affair. So we hit the low point recently, and from there we expect things to improve gradually. Economic upturn is what uh, bringing a lot of uh, foreign money into India. How much of this? Money that's coming in is looking for a uh, uh, upturn that is purely cyclical. How much of it is betting on cyclical help with a, a government that is reform oriented? And what's the room for disappointment there? Um, uh, a lot of investors have been um, uh, bullish on in India because of the long term prospects. Uh, the India story has been strong because of a combination of uh, sustainable growth for a longer period of time uh, and the combination of a wide variety of uh, investable companies which are uh, uh, available to the uh, investors. Uh, so, um, so I think uh, even during periods when the India story looked uh, very weak, when our economic growth was faltering, our policy environment was not very conducive, we did uh, see strong inflows, mm -hmm. uh, which is a demonstration of uh, you know the long-term conviction of the investment community. Uh, uh, on, you know, the prospects for India. So I think the confidence is going to improve uh, even more with uh, uh, the improvements uh, that uh, the government makes, uh, you know, the 
the country makes and so on. And we are seeing sufficient uh, evidence of uh, improvement on the ground. And uh, we think that probability that there's going to be a big disappointment on that front is very low at this point of time. All right, Sukumar, we're going to take a quick short break, but when we come back, we'll continue to discuss with our Sukumar uh, where he ranks India amongst other emerging market peers and which part of the bull market cycle we are in at this point in time. Stay tuned. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes.